how many species will be affected by climate change? Oh, that's a, that's a hard question. Um, I don't even think we know how many species of animals exist on the planet. That's a hard question to ask right there. Um, a lot. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's tough to know. So obviously, when we're, when we're talking about climate change in the future, a lot of it depends on what we do as humans, right? So we have to figure out these scenarios of what we think are going to happen. So we have a couple of scenarios we talk about. One is uh, more... Uh, optimistic and one is more business as usual as they say basically we just keep on keeping on um, and we just keep emitting uh, greenhouse gases so in a worst case scenario you could see a lot of animals impacted for a variety of reasons of course it's hard to kind of tease out because not only do you have impacts from just rising temperatures surface temperatures across the globe but you also have impacts because of humans, right? Because we're developing the land a lot. We're, we're, we're kind of making the, the, the places where these animals live smaller by, by development. So it's, it's kind of hard to tease out which way is going on. But um, there is some concern, you know, that when we, when we rise, raise temperatures up, that we're going to be messing up a lot of animals' habitats. Um, animals that rely necessarily on cold habitats, that's not too good for them. Or you could see animals that rely on warmer habitats begin to spread further and further away. Um, as an example of that, there's, um, and of course, invasive species. Basically, if you take, let's say, an animal that normally lives in the coastal oceans of Asia, and you pluck it up, and then you put it in the aquarium, and then you realize you don't want it in the United States, and then you throw it to the ocean, they can go crazy. There's, um, uh, I believe it's a lionfish in the in the it never existed in the Atlantic Ocean before until roughly the 80s, and it was released uh, in southern Florida, and now it pretty much dominates uh, a lot of coral areas from the Caribbean Ocean all the way up to the coastal Maine because there's no natural predator to it. Um, and with that, that can lead to a lot of uh, species reduction too because those animals eat a lot of animals that are natural, native to areas. But there is a lot of concern that as we continue to warm, that we could see a lot of negative impacts to species. I can't crack that number, but it won't be great. That's the best answer I can give you. <laughs> Thank you.